Hi, my name's Liv. Personally, I love hiking in the winter time, and it isn't too fun if you're freezing your buns off the whole time. So today, we're gonna talk about fine tuning your layering system so that you can get the optimal amount of comfort while you're out on the trail. All right, so our first layer, we've got our base layer. This layer here is generally either going to be merino wool or a synthetic material. Try to avoid cotton base layers at all costs. It's not going to be able to wick moisture away and insulate as well as either merino wool or a synthetic layer will be able to here. Purpose of this is to trap in a nice thin layer of heat next to you, keep you warm, as well as wick any excess moisture away. Our second layer is going to be your mid layer. Some folks prefer just one long big parka as their mid layer to keep them nice and warm. Personally, I like to break my mid layer into two pieces. So I've got a lighter weight fleece that I'll wear as I'm hiking, going down the trail, working up a heat. And then once I stop to take a break or set up camp, that's when I'll throw on uh, my warmer mid layer, my down jacket over the fleece jacket. And then lastly, we've got your outer layer or your shell. The shell usually gets broken out when you're trying to keep off wind or if the weather happens to turn a little inclement and some rain or snow hits. It's gonna help keep you dry and again, keep that brisk breeze off. All right, now that we've figured out how to stay warm up top, we're gonna to talk about some other ways to keep yourself warm out on the trail in the winter. First, evaluate your socks. Try to avoid cotton socks at all costs. Uh, we're gonna look for something that's either merino wool like these ones here or perhaps something synthetic. I know it's cold out and you might feel tempted to put on a nice, thick, burly pair of socks, but if you pair those really thick socks with your already snug fitting boots, you could risk losing circulation to your feet and therefore being cold. So sometimes lighter is better. Make sure that your socks fit well with your shoes. You've got room to wiggle your toes. And if your feet are still cold, consider some toe warmers. After that, we've got gloves. Make sure that your hands are staying warm. So you can go with some nice thick gloves or perhaps some mittens. I do prefer mittens because they keep my fingers together and therefore my hands are staying warmer. But under those mittens, I like to have at least some thin, like these guys, merino wool gloves. They're basically the base layers for my hands. And that way I can take a mitten off, take a picture, grab a snack from my pack, and not run the risk of my fingers getting cold. Last but not least, protect your noggin. Make sure that you've got a beanie that's gonna keep your head and your ears warm, perhaps one that's windproof. And I also like to throw on a neck gaiter. It's a nice little kind of circular scarf that wicks well and keeps a little bit of heat in. And that way, if I happen to get particularly cold, I can pull it up over my mouth and nose and hit the trail. All right, this is what I like and what I prefer. If you guys have any other questions, wanna learn some more, check out our other videos and I'll see you on the trail.